Good morning, everyone. I just want to give you a little update on this little tiger. This is my little peep peeps. He doesn't want me holding him. But this is the one that Miku attacked. Come here, baby. Look at him. He's just being a little fuss puss. I have to hold him because if he falls, he's going to fall on his breastbone and he could break it. It's okay, my little love. Are you holding on? Are you holding on? Yes. Are you just being a little stinkers? But he's getting his, he's picking his, um, wrap off. And this is his new one that he got on Tuesday. I need to clean his. Let go, baby. Let go. He's getting his wrap off. See, he's plucking, he's already got it almost all off. And he doesn't go back to the vet till Thursday. And I called them and told them that he's almost got his wrap off. It's okay, my little love. He doesn't want me holding him. That's all. Because, <laughs> you know, he thinks he's getting his medicine. <laughs> and he really hates it. Him and Miku. So this is the little guy that Miku attacked. When he got into Miku's cage. And you could see all his wing here on this side. It's supposed to be healing. He's just wants little cratches. I just want to show you guys up close. My little baby birdie. He's not, he's not, he's just mad because I'm holding him. But I don't want to hold him on the side where his wing is hurt. So when me and Jeff give him his medication, we wrap him in a nice big fluffy, um, I have a face cloth that we wrap him in. See how he's picking at that? You're just a little feisty guy today. <laughs> uh, we wrap him in a face cloth and then I just hold his beak and stick the medication down in his crop. So he makes sure he's getting his pain meds and his antibiotic, which he'll be on for a little while, till he gets all healed. And he can't bath. He hasn't been able to bath, so I've got to keep washing him, sticking his tail feathers and everything in water. But I can't get his uh, wrap wet. But he's got this wrap almost literally pulled off. You can see the whole top part of his wing is exposed. And that's supposed to be all wrapped. He's got it all. Look at his feathers. You can still see his feathers. How he's got that all pulled off. And then underneath, his little talons kept getting stuck in the gauze that they got wrapped on because it's coming down. So I'm forever trying to trim off because he's getting his little talons stuck in the gauze. And yeah, he needs his little body cleaned. But I wanted to show you him. Oh, shut up. You're just a cute little guy. Yes, you are. Do you feel better now you got kisses? Say hello. <laughs> it's okay, my little love. You're okay. But I think I'm going to have to take him in for an emergency wrap because this wrap is literally coming off. He has. He's going to have to get a cone on him because he's got this all loose and it's not going to help him. If, it, if all of this, like even the wound is a bit exposed, you can see it's clearing up though. It's drying up. It's not infected. You're just a little stinkers. Yes, you are. You're okay, my little love. But I wanted to show you guys my little guy. He's just a little guy. He's so precious. Okay, little peeps. It's okay. Yes, you're so cute. He is so cute. He always chirps like that when you pet him on it or well rub his little head. Miku loves this too. When you rub on their heads, they just love it. Okay. You just love it. He's so cute. So I just wanted to show you guys little peep peeps. <laughs> little peep peeps hey eh? we're not really holding him uh, he's actually hanging on with his talons so I'm not really I'm just not letting him feel like he can be free because if he falls 
he is going to definitely break his breastbone. So, <laughs> oh, you're just too cute. You're just too cute. Yeah, and I usually just bath his head a little bit all underneath here. But I try so hard not to get his bandage wet. But right now, it being, look at, he's got this almost all pulled off. See it? The gauze is exposed. He's got the purple wrap almost literally off. I bought some of that that uh, vet tape, but I can't do him because he's really fidgety. <clears throat> I try to lift up his other wing, the, the non-broken one. I try to lift up this wing, but he just won't let me do that. So he's he's got to be gassed. They have to gas him in order to wrap him so he doesn't get you know, more injured by being a little fuss puss. But he just loves his little scratches. Yes, he does. He loves his little scratches. And he hates me holding him down. He just, this is... <laughs> but he still needs to be cuddled and loved. And that's what I try to do. Even though I know he's squawking right now. He's only squawking because he's happy. I'm not even holding him. He's just holding on with his talons, but he likes to be scratched. Say bye to everybody, sweetheart. We're going to go put you back in your cage so you can rip some more of your bandage off. Little stinker. Little stinker. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to be just stashing more stuff today. Oh my God, I seriously want to get my room in order. My God, I made such a mess in here. But, you know, guys, I'm just going to be grabbing. I've got things piled all over the place here, and I'm just going to grab whatever. Nothing's in any particular order. So, um, hmm, what should I start with? <clears throat> Let's start with this Graphic 45 kit. It might be a little too close. Yeah. All right, this is a Graphic 45 kit that I purchased with the, they have a video on uh, how to do this, this book. I started it at Christmas time, but I did not finish it. I just did a few pages, and I like to do things my own way, so I'm not really following them 100%, so, but I was following them. For the front cover because I really think the front cover was so pretty so I did do all this front cover and did all this fussy cutting on the front cover of this and this is the 12 days of Christmas I even put my uh, own bling on the side there bling on the those are all poinsettias and then inside here I done this part and made this tag booklet but they show you how to make all of this stuff. And I done that page. This has a belly band and two pockets here. I think I done it different than what they did. So I never got too far on, on this book. And there's a lot of pages in here that belong inside of this book. So you could see I never completed. It's just another tag. But they show you how to make each page every single page in this both sides so this is a little tag and this is a flip up and this just holds it there so that's all and this is a pocket here that's all I've gotten done on this so this is all the rest of the stuff I never um, I did put my own um, eight and a half by 11 cardstock that I chose to use with this. <clears throat> the instructions, there's extras in here because I'm using extra stuff. You can see all the little pieces that they tell you to keep, I kept. Um, so, these here I put inside because I thought they would be really nice and I was using this ribbon so I never wasted any of the paper because they teach you how to conserve 
This is their 12 Days of Christmas paper. Okay. So this is the full kit. And more. And their album. And all the pages for this album are all right here. Those are all the pages that go inside that you decorate. This is going to be really pretty when it's all done. So, um, yeah. this down so I'm gonna let this kit go so I'm gonna start this off as um, what do I want to label this <clears throat> um, I'm gonna name it G45 lot one and I'm going to let it go for $35. Okay. So it's G45, lot one, $35. <clears throat> I'm actually going to stick it in a bag so everything stays together. And I don't, uh, when I go to pull this order, I'll know exactly which pieces I said that goes with it. Also, where is it? Where did I put it? Where? Oh, right here. Also, I'm going to throw a um, um, Tyvek envelope in here as well. So, we'll call this G45 Lot 1, $35. Okay? That's that one. Next, oh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's start with this. This is the um, children's junk journal kit that I got from Dreams Etc. This was a physical kit that was shipped to me. It's not something I printed off. Jeez, oh, my roll of tape is muck fell down. This kit comes with um, everything you need. If you go look at her children's kits, I don't even know if these are still available, but I put this fabric in here because I was going to make a blue one for, for Chase, and I'm not making Chase's mini album, and I'm, I'm not doing any paper crafting. So let me just quickly show you everything that came in this kit. So she gives you everything. Like her and her mother put all of these. So this is perfect for a boy or a girl. There's a lot of pink. There, there's blue. It's supposed to be a unisex kit. And this little children's papers. I got it upside down. So you get all of this. Look at these. For a junk journal for a child. That page. Oh, this here is called Gary Groundhog's Narrow Escape. This is even yellowed around the edges. Look at the pages that was included in this junk journal. So that was part of um, the kit. I did not put this in here. So that came with, everything came with this. A piece of vellum. And then there's this beautiful um, glossy accents on that. So these are all the papers that came with the kit to use in your junk journal. These are all printed off. These came out of her. Look at so pretty. Um graph paper pretty cool. And then these came out. Look at the colors of these. So they're double-sided. 
over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. These all came in here. These envelopes came in here. Came in the kit. Whoops. I don't want to damage anything. And I'm going to stick a Tyvek envelope in there for good measure. You might want to reinforce something with Tyvek in this junk journal. Then she sends you all the buttons. Now, this is the book that she made with all the buttons down the spine for a children's book. It's so stinking cute. I don't even know what's in this brown envelope. So, And it got, you got a zipper. It's a little thank you gift. Oh, so it's bling and washi tape. Blue. So that's a little thank you gift I got. Forgot that was in there. And then a nice zipper, some laces, some really colorful ribbons. So that's... Now I put this... Um, fabric in here so let me just rip this off this is 100% cotton just to get rid of some of the bulk get rid of that because I was going to make a blue book and I didn't want to use her fabric because it's too feminine so now you have enough to make a boy or a girl book for sure junk journal get rid of some of the bulk in that. <coughs> Alright, so that is part of the kit. That's one half of the package. This is the second half. Okay. You get this farm baby farm animal book. This is so stinking cute. Um, these are for kids. They're like kids cards. They're called Wise and Otherwise. Little. These all came in the kit. So that's part of it. A nice brown envelope. Some paper doilies came. Here's some more word on the secret Disney film. Um, these are just cards. Let's keep all these together. So here's a piece of the fabric. Oh no, I stuck that in there. These are vellum with polka dots on them. So I thought they were really cute. Paper envelope. These are all your spines already all cut out for you, ready to go, ready to use. You get this, say yes to new adventures, boys lame, <laughs> this two famous females, you get this, this little journal card, another journal card, journal card, um, flash card, one, two, three, such, oh, this is adorable too. You get the turtle. Uh, this is just cardstock. That's kind of cool. Wise and otherwise. There's sheets, blank sheets for that. There's a receipt. Follow your dreams. Smile and the world will smile with you. Now, isn't that true, guys? Um, a little calendar. That is so adorable. Love you more. This magic moment, flash card, envelope, um, time card, a nice big thick manila uh, tag. This is um, a flash card. It looks like it's laminated. Card stock. More card stock. A paper bag. 
And these are the fabrics that she did send with the kit. So this is like a pink glittery fabric. So pretty. So if you're doing for a girl, you've got all your fabrics. And this is the two, the piece of the, the pink. So that's why I stuck the blue in and to replace this piece of pink. So you've got pink and you've got blue. And then there's a big envelope. So that is the uh, little, oh shoot, the little golden book. <sighs> Guys, I don't remember what I paid for this. I honestly don't. I could go look it up, but I don't feel like it. So I'm going to let this kit go. You know what? And I'm going to throw this in too. Because this is a onesie that I had cut out. And I'm going to throw it in there. I think I'm going to let this kit go for... Um, $25 and you get everything in this kit okay so we're gonna call this whoops that onesie's a little bit too big there we go we'll call this and that did not seal once you keep opening these they just don't seal anymore um, we'll call it dreams etc um, kit number two, uh, $25. All right. And then we're going to stick this in a bag. So it stays together. Okay, so right on here. Actually, Right on this side, I can read it better. Dreams, etc. Actually, this is lot two. Twenty-five dollars. The dreams, etc. Lot two, twenty-five dollars. So that's that kit. All right, now. Let's get into, these are, okay, if anybody's familiar with Annie's club member kits in uh, Facebook, she has a monthly kit, and I, I got her monthly kits for quite some time. So I have a few kits here to sell. These are really beautiful. Now I taped this all up because I like to keep these these things together so just so I can open it so you can see oops I don't want to cut the bag I just want to cut the tape okay now this was one of her kits that you got to pick which theme you wanted because she had them in different colors and of course I took the pink because the purple was gone so this is a um, shabby chic purse. You get the beautiful little purse. And inside is the little chain for it. So you get this beautiful pink fabric purse. And you get all the stuff and she's got videos on how to create all this. But I would just use your own imagination and create this uh, in your own imagination. She has all the stuff in here for this kit. Let me put this back in this bag. This actually, yeah, this has to go in here. Because it won't bend long enough to fit inside of that. So there's the purse. And then you get all the stuff, all the embellishments, the lace, the fabric, the pictures, anything that she used, you get. And she does such beautiful work. So these here are all fabrics that you go, you can wrap the, around the purse. These are a little thank you gift and they're little organza flowers. That's a beautiful pink flower that came with it. 
Um, these are all, um, these are two different kinds of, uh, I don't know, braided wrap, braided, braided string. These little pink flowers came in it. Then you got this beautiful pink lace. I don't. I really don't want to unwrap and wrap all this stuff back up. My God. You got some really pretty beaded trim that goes. You can dangle on the bottom of the purse. I've seen a few people that completed all these projects that I'm showing you, and they are stunning. So this is beaded trim in a, in a creamy white color. And here's beaded trim in a pink. So pretty. And then you've got this lace. Nice chunk of... Oh, there's a couple other... Oh, she's got them all wrapped together. Okay, so you got a piece of this lace here. Let's go this way because it's upside down. There we go. So you've got that lace. Then you've got this one, which has sequins in it. It is super pretty. And then you got this one. So I'm just going to fold these exactly back up the way they were. And there is really pretty flower trim lace. And it's pink and white. Here is an applique, pink and white. This one is blue with, wow, this is pretty. It's got beads, pearls on it with sequins. Just stunning. Kind of a purpley blue. And you've got this. Like she has some of the most beautiful laces that she puts in her kits. Um, that one a nice piece. Then you get this piece. You got two. It's kind of wrinkled. But. And this is the same as the blue. So you got it in pink as well. And then you've got this beautiful applique with the flower. And there's another little bud. Look at this. It's a pink. Alright, so this is Annie's kit. So I'll call it Annie's kit number three. I'm going to call it Annie's lot number three. And that's the purse kit. And you guys know that her kits aren't cheap, but she, she puts a lot of work into her kits. And I'm not even kidding you. Um, I don't even know what to sell this for. I don't remember what I paid. I just know roughly what I paid for the gypsy purse one. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to let this go for $25 too. Don't forget, I paid $25, or I didn't pay $25, I probably paid $50, $49, $50 for this kit. But it's worth it because it's shabby chic. Of course, all these kits from Annie are shabby chic kits. So, we're going to let this kit go. $25. So, this is Annie's kit. Put everything together in one bag. And I'm going to seal that. Annie's. Lot three twenty five dollars, and I paid way more than that. All right, we have another kit, and this is a um, really cool camera. Anyway, I taped all of these closed. 
I'm actually going to reuse that piece of paper. All right, so this is a camera, shabby chic camera. She sewed all of this. Everything comes. Look at this cute thing that she made to make it look like a film <laughs> inside of the camera. So you've got all the stuff for this. This is for the outside. So there's two pieces here, and she shows you how to do this. But anyway, this here, I believe, goes on top, maybe? Yes, and it's got plastic in there. She cut all of this out, so it's going to go together like this. And then it goes on the front of here. She gives you all the embellishments that you need. I'm not going to open all these packages. Oh, she's got a letter R in there. So cute. There's chain. There's bling galore in there. These are the laces and the trims or pearls or whatever is in this kit. I don't even think I opened it to look at it. Yep. Never even opened this package. So, let's have a look. Let's start with this beautiful lace trim. It's in a nice pretty beige color. So you get that big piece Oops. with the sequins and stuff. And then there's this one with the silver. They look like silver sequins, but they're kind of shimmery. So you get a nice piece of that. You get some organza. Wow, this is really stiff organza with gold around the edges. And there's pearl trims here. There's this one. These are all on string, so this is, wow, you get a lot of this. Whew, all right. So this is to decorate your camera. Shabby sheet camera. And those of you that know Annie's kit club, you guys know how much her kits are, so. And there. Stick all of this back in here. We'll call this Annie's Lot 4. And I'm going to let this one go for 20 bucks. And I know that's not what I paid for it, so you guys can go check for yourself. Alright, so let's put all this stuff back. And this is a little thank you. She always gives some kind of flowers or something as a thank you. So... That's a thank you, and it's a cute little shabby chic flower. So let's put this stuff back inside of here so it don't get lost. And it's magnetic, so I'm going to tuck it in there. There we go. And she made this. Sewed it all and made it. It's just so cute. So this is the uh, front of the camera. She made that as well. Yep. So let's find a little bag. I'm going to sit it up there for now. I'm going to grab a small bag here so I can put everything in it. And that way when Jeff's helping me pull orders, he doesn't forget to give me something that belongs to a lot. So. Alright. Annie's. Lot for 20 bucks. Have another Annie's kit here. Oh, jeez, this is gorgeous. So this is going to be one of those bendable dolls, and as you can see, she she made partially made these dresses, 
for you to decorate on these dolls. The hair's all covered. She made the top. She made this. And these are bendable dolls. And uh, you see? And they're, they're meant to... Uh, she almost looks like she has a Tila face. Look at her beautiful little necklace that Annie put on here. She made this up here. Oh my gosh, this is just so stinking adorable. All right. In this package, you're getting some beautiful, this is very silky tool. It's not that rough stuff, and there's lots in here. So you get the tool. You get this. Wow. Look at this. Oh my God, this is so soft so soft so you get that and if you're into shabby chic you'll love making these things um, she made this dress so this is so cool I remember seeing this too this is just look at this dress she added this so you I mean you're gonna have to do some trimming because oh no that's just a piece of thread but I would still trim around um, this look at how gorgeous onto this is like brushed velvet fabric it's beautiful so I guess this is meant to wrap around her dress I don't know probably it's what it looks like to me and you get oh what is a whole lot? oh my gosh there's a crown there's a necklace. I forget what this rubber thing was for. You're definitely going to have to go and ask Annie to watch her videos. Look at the bracelets. These got 3D. These are somehow, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what these are for, but they're in the kit. And there's this trim in a pretty beige color. And this one here the flowers so pretty you can cut those individually but you won't want to and then there's this tiny little trim so cute and it's silky um, oh it's the tea time doll look at the little teapot teacup she made there's a doily this is for another teacup, and this is her corset that Annie made. All the holes are punched. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Another teacup. And she made this. This is adorable. She made that teacup. The stuffed little teapot. <laughs> That's adorable. All right, let's put all this back in here. And a little doily. What's in here? Oh, goodness, fork, spoon. Look at this beaded flower, and it's on wire, so, oh wow, that's all beaded. It's so pretty. Guys, I have a new camera coming because this one is shot doesn't want to focus and this is a hair clip so obviously a lot of this stuff um, I don't know I don't know what she used it all for because I only watched the videos but I don't remember now but you can use your imagination too if you don't want to watch the video and just create it by yourself you can add your own things to this kit too if you wanted to And I'm just going to tuck this package in here. Just to keep it all together. So this is Annie's doll kit. So I'm going to crunch her back up. Because she was in this bag somehow. Not crunch her, but close her back up. This is adorable. So this is Annie's doll kit, and Annie 
is lot five. And I'm gonna let this go for um, thirty dollars. Because I know it paid a fortune for this. And I think I don't think she gave you an option of colors. They all her kits. This one all were the same. Now this one. I'm just trying to think if this belongs to the gypsy one. Um, let me think. Let me just set this one aside for now. This is tea time one. Some kind of tea time. Wow. These are all fabric roses, flowers that she printed off. There's quite a few in this package. There's two here the big ones and you put these she teaches you how to put these flowers together so you, you definitely have to watch her videos if you want to see how she assembled everything okay that is to make a cup that she made what is this oh my goodness it's a little pin Wow. You can poke it and stand it up. So cute. I don't even know where to look. Now there's batting in here for a reason. So there's the base all drawn out for you on the cups. There's the cups. There's four cups. Two, three, four in this one. Or muffin tins, I don't know. And then these are all cut out for you. Wow, what fabric. <clears throat> and paper glued to fabric. And these as well are some kind of decorative box. Oh my god, this is, I remember this set. And it had um, a little stand, but the stand got broken, so I just threw it out. And it was made out of cardstock, so it wasn't very secure. But uh, I didn't like the stand anyway. I wasn't going to use it. I think this would be really pretty on its own. So I'm just going to shove all of this in here. Oops, that one don't go in there. So this is all parts to her tea, tea and muffins, I think. Muffin cups. All right, I'm just going to do this. I don't think that was in here. No, that's too big. But that was. And I know it was. Nice, fluffy, soft fiber fill. Okay. There's that. So you guys saw this. Uh, it's a little package of something. There's a <laughs> cute little wooden spoon. There's little trims. Little trims. Obviously went to something on this. This is a little thank you. And of course it's a flower. Which she always has a thank you gift. And that wooden spoon is for something in this kit. Just tuck these back in and put that back in. Oh shoot. So I tried to salvage it but ah, I'll just put a new piece. Okay. Let's see what this stuff is. All right. So you know who that is. That is, um, what's her name? Oh my God, I just drew a complete blank. <laughs> you know who she is, Antoinette. And there's two of them. And there is a, you gotta stuff this cup. 
that's probably what the stuffing is for and sew it up to stand it up I guess same with the teapot it's already all stuffed for you the handle that is so cute and that I'm actually gonna just stick this pin in here because this is really cute with the little like she made that look at those little tiny flowers she cut out holy crap um, this one came with lots of laces and trims. Look at this one. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Look at this. The flowers. Made out of like silky stuff. And iridescent running in this trim. Wow, this is beautiful. That is gorgeous. And this is 3D. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful, this applique. It's pink, teal, teal blue, white. That is so pretty. I'm going to fold it in this way. So. And then this applique. Oh my goodness. That is thick. <coughs> Look at. silk. This is um little French knots on top of this. This is a really pretty green. <coughs> and there's two pieces of it in the green. There is it in pink. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. So that's the front of the pink. Here, let me show you. That's the pink. And that's a lighter pink, the little bumps on it. <coughs> and there's a blue in it. So that's all of these silky dots. We call this stuff called, it's really silky for babies, it's called minky dot fabric. Oh my god, it's so soft. This is very soft. Oh, now I got a tickle. There we go. Another bag of goodies. She was not cheap on her kits. Oh, look at this beaded trim. Ugh. Blue organza and beads. Oh my goodness. Look at and you get a quite a bit of that. So that's quite a bit of that. And then there's this one. Again, I've ha I've seen this in another kit. They're little tiny flowers on like a green stem. Look. So cute. And you get a nice big chunk of that. <laughs> and this one, it's pink and blue. So pretty. <coughs> and this lace here, you get a piece, nice big, oh, it's stretchy. Soft too. So that's pretty. This one here is a cotton eyelet. Wow, that's cute too.
And then there's this piece. Well, you get a whole yard of this, I think. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, there's quite a bit here, too. So. And a piece of tassel trim. I'm surprised she didn't tape off these edges because she normally does tape off the edges so they don't fray. So I am going to do that so it does not fray any further because this one's fraying. Let's trim this off. Yeah, she normally uh, closes off all the edges on all these kinds of trims. There we go. So that's that. <coughs> I gotta go get a drink. As soon as I'm done with this kit, I will. So there's the trims. These look like doilies. Mm -hmm. exactly what they are doilies so we get that big one okay we get this one this one goes this way. One, two, three, four of these doilies. And these are um, layered. And then there's two of these ones, the little smaller ones. So there's two of those and two of these little guys. So that's all the doilies. <clears throat> so I'm going to let this kit go for $40. This is lot number 6. Annie's lot 6. $40. So if you're interested in doing some shabby chic, this will be really fun to make. Okay, so Annie's Annie's Lot six, forty dollars, and I paid a lot more than that, so I'm just saying. All right, I'll be right back.